Carlton Fisk Don't facing Fisk. Bob Stanley. Hey, here he goes! Get out of back! Please it's my day! It is! Holy cow! Carlton Fisk has put the White Sox ahead! A line drive! I was afraid it might not get up high enough! And the White Sox lead! Look at Fisk! Look at Fisk! Holy Henkin still pitching in the eighth, leading 5-2 at this point, and then Albert Bell changes the score. A two-run shot, it's now 5-4 Jays. We go to the top of the ninth, it's still 5-4 Jays, when Norberto Martin, Norby, the pinch hit home run, Mike Timlin's first pitch of the year, and Norby takes him yard. Hi, Norby. Top of the tenth, still 5-5. Ray Durham on first, two outs, Tony Pena. Ball goes underneath Alex Gonzalez's glove, and Durham's going to try and score from first. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. He's safe. And the White Sox go up 6-5 and hold on to win by that margin. Runners on second and third, and Sierra. The chopper back to the hill. Howard takes his time and gets out of it. Sox use three pitchers in the eighth. They cling to a 6-5 lead. Bottom of the ninth, two runners on. Brett Boone facing Keith Folk with one out. Back to Falk, looks the runner back and throws to first to get Boone. So now two outs after they intentionally walked Edgar Martinez. Falk facing Mike Cameron. Cameron said afterwards he got a pitch to hit and just missed it. Fly out to right field and that is your ball game. Now he counts as Mark Burley is looking to go ahead and start things off in a positive way and lead himself right into the playoffs. Burley has faced a minimum through six innings. There's a chopper. Ball is on Peralta. Holy scores, and the Sox lead it one to nothing. Road. Yes. yes. So the Sox take the opener here in 05, one to nothing. Tommy has flied out, and what did that one has hit a mile? Hello, Chicago. Way gone, a home run. Big pitch coming up right here. That ball hit deep. That ball is bouncing way back. Young at the wall looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. That ball hit high, deep. Stretch. He looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. A three-run homer by Jim Tony. And the Sox lead it four to two. Mercy. That's deflected over. Look at the play by Burley. Mercy. Wow. From the Gold Glove winner. Look at this. That one's going to be on highlight reels all year long. Hermes coming out to take a look at Burley because that one hit him square. What an effort by Mark Burley. Wow. Goes 3-2, hit high, deep to right. Chu is back, and this baby is long gone. That's strength right there. Swats another one in the gap right center. This is going to get at least two home, if not three. Morell scores, Pierre scores, Beckham stops at third, Adam Dunn with a two-run double. And that will be the knockout blow for Fausto Carmona. It's now 8-0 Chicago. Very much on these guys. That ball hit high and deep. He goes back. He looks up. And Nasco did not listen to the stone pony. <laughs> it is 2-0 Sox. Yes, put it on the board. Now make it. Two for three. You can put it on the board. And he does it. Debreu hits it a long way, deep to left field. Jay at the wall, and it is gone. Matt Davidson launches a ball on two and one. This one to left center field, and it is out of here. Foot comes down so you don't slide. This ball's hit hard by Anderson to left field. And for the third time in the inning, the Sox have gone deep. That ball's crushed by Davidson again, and welcome to the opening day roster, Matt Davidson. That ball is demolished. Tim Anderson, like Matt Davidson, has two on opening day. 
Matt Davidson lashes another one down the left field side. And boy, Matt Davidson have a day here in Kansas City. My goodness, once again. Two and one to Mercedes. And your meat tattoos this ball. Oh, where is it going to land? Bring him home. Welcome to Chicago 73. His second home run of the year. An introduction to the home folks. Your mean Mercedes got a slider and took it way back. Ben and Tendi in left field.